Alrighty, I'm going to restart the mister just so you can see um, how fast it takes to boot up. And we'll talk about the user interface a little bit. So I'm going to hit the menu button. I've already got the menu up. I'm going to hit B to go back to the top level. And then there's a reboot here that says hold for a cold reboot. So I'm going to hold the button down and it will do a complete shut off and turn itself back on. And that will show you how long it takes to boot up. Alright, it doesn't take very long. And um, so this is the top level menu where you can pick from arcade, computer, console, and other. Other is, or, oops, let me hit the right button. So once you've got something highlighted, you hit the A button. And you've got an Arduino board, Ardu boy, or whatever that is, chess, a Flappy Bird game, and a game of life. And I don't really know what the other two are, but those are native games. So people have written a few of those. But what most people get into in B will back up. Um, Arcade, computer cores, and console cores. I haven't really spent a lot of time in the computer cores to try all the different computers because usually you have to download floppy disk images or hard disk images. And there's quite a lot of curated those that have complete collections of all the games with the various things. But I um, don't have any disk images to show. So we hit B to back up. And um, let's talk about the arcade cores. So I'm going to go in here, and the very two top things are uh, directories you can see. And alternatives are, are hacked versions or modified versions of the standard arcade games that are available. Stuff at the top level are the standard versions. But there's this organization feature that um, organizes the games instead of a one big list. I'll just back out of that, and let's see how many. Each screen is about 14 or 15 games, so I'm going to go... So that's one screen, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, thirty four, five, six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five. I don't know how many that is. I want to say it's probably over 300 different arcade games, although there is a bit of redundancy with different flavors of things. But I'm going to go into the organized area just to show you some of the features we have here. Um, we can get into collections, and they've got subcategories here. You can go by platform, by Mr. Core, by year. Let's just start off by, with by year to show you kind of some of the games that we have here. So the very first one is 1971. It's the first arcade game that was made by Atari. It's called Space War. I don't know that I've actually played this game, but let's try it. Ooh, it says Arachnoid. That's definitely not correct. <laughs> I think that's something that's mislabeled. Um, let's go to Core again. 1971 Pong. We should get Pong. That shouldn't be mislabeled. Yep, you can play the original Pong. 1975 Gunfight. I'm not going to go through all of these, but just showing you some of the early games that are very simplistic. So these were fairly easy for them uh, to learn how to do uh, FPGA design. I remember this is sort of like Pong, but with fighting, uh, with shooting. And then 1976, we've got a couple more games like Breakout. Oops, I didn't mean to pick that. I meant to go up a directory, but ooh. That's an interesting ancient video game, 1977. Canyon Bomber, is that something I've seen before? I don't know. Okay. Arcade games, can you believe people put quarters in to play that? And let's go to 78. Seawolf 2. Let's see what that looks like. It looks kind of like an Atari 2600 game. Let's see what else we have here. Space Invaders. That is one you should be familiar with. Looks like they've got a different desktop background behind there. And let's um, define the buttons. Right, left, down, up, fire, start player one, start player two, coin, and pause. And every time you make a change to the settings, you should save the settings so you don't have to go through that all over again. So I'm going to back out and give it a credit. I'm going to hit player one start. And let's see what we got. I 
Maybe the very first one of this had like a a layer over the screen that gave it that background. I don't really know why we have that background in there. I remember the Space Invaders having like a, a dark background. Okay, let's go to a different core sprint one. I think that's a racing game. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, the black and white. I think they came later with color versions of this called Rally X or something. So, Super Breakout. So you can see we've got super early um, arcade games. Let's keep going through the years. 79, Asteroids. And these are all implemented in FPGA. We've got Galaxian. Classic arcade games that I probably saw on the... Um, let's restart the Mister. You can do that by going to this screen and holding that down. Sometimes when you change a lot of cores, um, they'll get confused and you need to restart it. just takes a second to restart it. But let's try that again. Let's go to Organize. Let's go to Collections. Let's go by Year. Let's go, what was it, 79? Galaxian. Let's try that again. That looks a little better. Let's configure right left down up fire start player one start player two coin test pause and again I'm going to save the settings so I don't have to go through that ever again and then I can hit B to get out of it and give it a coin hit start player one so this is the original arcade galaxy and a lot of people played this on the Apple II and various other home computers Ooh, that was close Ooh. All right, you get the idea. Let's see what else goes in that year. Lunar Lander, that's where you've got a spaceship you're trying to land, if I remember correctly. Very, It zooms in when you get closer to the ground. Um, yeah, saw that in arcades. Lunar Rescue, not sure if I know what that is. Please insert coin. <laughs> Shuttle Invader, let's keep going. 1980, Berserk. That's a classic robot shooter kind of game. We've got some beeping. There we go, it came up. It's one of the first games with um, speech to it. Centipede. Defender Williams Classic. And you got the power and self test of all these William games that are very similar. Start player one. I'm not going to be very good at this. Okay, you get the idea. Oops. What else we got in here? Pac Man. Original Pac Man. Power on self test. You get the idea. Phoenix. Oh, I love to play this game. Played this in the arcade quite a bit. Give it a coin. Hit player one. Start. Obviously, I've played this before. You remember playing this game? I put lots of quarters in this one. You, know, you get the idea. It's got several different levels to it. Rally X. That'd be that 3D, uh, excuse me, that racing game now with color, hopefully. Got a weird power up start. I believe it's like kind of a grid, and you avoid people chasing you, and you pick up um, things, rewards, and try to. It's kind of like Pac Man in a way, in that you're trying to avoid getting caught and also trying to pick up rewards, which are the flags, it looks like. Anything else on here worth mentioning? Wizard of War? I don't know what that is. 
Let's go back out and go to another year. 81. Donkey Kong. Let me turn up the volume on this because I don't know how well this is coming out. There we go. That helps me a little better. All right. Yep. You can totally play Donkey Kong. Frenzy, I think, is a sequel to um, that robot game from earlier, Berserk. It's got that same beeping sound. They put a little more effort into the graphics. Stern, they didn't make a lot of video games, but they've got that one. <laughs> there you go. A little more advanced. Frogger, you've got the original Frogger, and it takes a while because the startup screen is pretty slow, but you can play Frogger. Let me um, define the right, left, down, up, jump. Player 1 start, player 2 start, coin, pause, and save the settings. Give it a coin. Player 1 start. Yep, it's Frogger. Oops, I jumped a little too far. Ah! You get the idea. That's totally me, not paying close enough attention. We've got Galaga. Yay! Let's see if this one works. I think it does. It's a power on self-test. I've got one version on here of Galaga that doesn't work, but one that does. Oh, there we go. It's going to work. Give it a credit. Start. Again, you can... I've, I've defined the buttons on these, so... I'm playing the arcade version of Galaga now. It's not a wannabe. It's the real thing. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, anything of no else of note? Ms. Pac-Man came out. Power on self-test. Ooh, I don't know what cheat is. credit. Player one start. This isn't an, an adaption. This is the actual arcade game. FPGA recreation. Yeah, you get the idea. New Rally X. Very similar to what we saw a second ago. Just Anyway, you, you saw that before. Let's see. Stargate. That's the sequel to Defender with the Williams power on self test. So these are some of the early arcade games. We'll get into some of the later ones. Stargate. I gotta give it a coin. There we go. Okay, let's get out and give it a play. Stargate. <sighs> I was never really good at that. Okay, Gorf. I played this in, um, what was that pizza place that Jimmy Trentham worked in? Uh, Waldo Pepper's Pizza, they had this, and I played this a lot. It's basically Galaga, excuse me, not Galaga, but Galaxian, and a few other, and Space Invaders, and two other games rolled into one with different levels. It's very fun. It had a, like a trigger stick on it, which is hard to do with a controller, so. All right, like, let's go to 82. We got Burger Time, Dig Dug. Who doesn't remember Dig Dug and its 
very catchy theme song. Okay, you get it, it's Dig Dug. Donkey Kong Jr. Yep. What else? Anything here? Gravatar. Ja uh, joust. I put many, 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 many quarters in Joust. Another wo classic Williams arcade system. with this game is I'm pretty good at it so every time I play it it lasts for 15 or 20 minutes <laughs> although I don't remember exactly how to kill the pterodactyl in it fly over me anyway it's the original gal joust you're used to that oops core moon patrol that's a shooting up and forward and avoiding um, obstacles in your way. The, the graphics aren't amazing, but the gameplay is pretty good. Um, anything else here? Pie Pie, everyone remembers Pie Pie. Where you collect the hearts and you avoid Bluto and you try to save uh, olive oil. Hubert, it has everything the original Hubert has except for the sound, the audio voice processor that makes Hubert go I -O -A -I -O -A. Let me give it a coin. Let me start the game. So when Kubert dies in um, the little, I'm gonna let the guy get me. Come on, get me. He has a little word balloon, but you don't hear. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, because they just couldn't implement that chip. It's not documented, and they haven't had one. They've torn open to see what it looks like inside. Very good game of Kubert Robotron. This will work with the dual sticks, so you can move and fire independently. So it's a double stick shooter. Um, I put mini quarters. This is a very intense game, especially when you get past the first couple of levels. I mean, who hasn't played this game? Okay, here we go. See, I can totally change. Ooh. <laughs> I can change the direction I'm shooting regardless of what direction I'm moving in. Because I can do that. And you gotta try to get those um, those little Try to get those little red guys because they produce stuff. There we go, got one of them anyway. <sighs> Too close to all the shooters. Anyway, this game just gets so intense. I'm gonna quit, quit playing that. Sinistar, that's the one where the guy goes, I hunger. Run, run. Ah! But you have to be in there for a while. Well, it's, it's gonna come up. Here we go. I hunger. I hunger. Remember this one? And you can shoot the um, those things, the rocks to give up uh, to give up little power, little like. Ooh, there's a spaceship. Got it. Uh, you remember this one? You got a little radar there telling you. But you can shoot the rocks and they will release little pellets that power give you. I'm not sure what they. There they go. There's a couple of those. I don't know if they're good for your life or what. Anyway, you get the idea. Super Pac Man, Super Zaxxon, Tron. That's that multi game um, with the light light cycles and the discs and the light pipe 
that you can shoot. Yeah, who hadn't played that? Uh, Zevius. Boy, it's um, <laughs> power on self tests. Takes a while. Right, left, down, up. Fire, bombs, player one start, player two start, coin, pause. Yes, save the settings. Go to coin. Start. So this you can fire ahead into the air and you can also bomb the ground. Very reminiscent of a later game called Ra Radian. Ra Radian. Raiden, that's what it's called. Anyway, pretty nice um, shooter unique shooter game and Zaxxon we got Zaxxon remember that one Sega I think made it maybe yep Sega right left down up fire player one start player two start coin pause not a lot to it save the settings get out of it give it a coin play start um, there we go you can go up and down. Got to fly low to the ground. Ooh, I ran into that. Anyway, you know the game. Let's go to the next year. See what we got. 83. Donkey Kong 3. Discs of Tron. Mario Brothers. Which is not like Mario, Super Mario Brothers, but... Um, anyway, you know what that is. Let's see. Anything else of note? Satan's Hollow. It's kind of a shooter with a twist. Um, go to a different year, 84, anything in here, 1942, that's a, it's um, like I need to flip it over, or oh, you can do it vertical if you want to, and you can actually stretch it as well, but clean it up a little bit, um, I don't want it that way though, rotate screen, upside down are there dip switches to this yes oops <sighs> oops let me get back in there dip switches flip screen on and then you can restart the core and there we go and then if we save the settings on that it'll remember so the next time we load it'll come up right all right so let's define the buttons right left down up Fire, loop, start, coin, pause. All right. Give it a coin. Oh, I'm not pushing it. There we go. It's one of those mini 19XX games from Capcom. Galaga Plus. Didn't see that uh, very often. Journey. That's, <laughs> I've never played this game, but I've seen it in many arcades. It kind of seemed kind of dopey, so I wasn't really that interested in it. But it's got some sample music, I think. It's pretty grainy sounding. Of, you know, Journey. Don't stop believing. Kung Fu Master. Who I didn't see this? I think this is a Sega game. No, Irem. Aha. And does kicks and punches and stuff. Whoa! Got to avoid. Anyway, platformer. SWAT time pilot. That was a shooter, kind of World War Two. Uh, let's go to another year. Eighty-five. Gauntlet and Gauntlet Two. This you can easily play two players on. And it's the original arcade game, and it has the speech synthesis and everything. Uh, let's see, you got Gauntlet 2, which is a slightly newer game with a little bit more uh, play aspects to it. Okay, what else we got? Ghosts and Goblins, really well known game, ported to lots of consoles. Up, 
Looks like I need to flip that one over. There we go. That one did make me restart the core to get the screen to be right. Right, left, down, up. Fire, jump, start, coin, pause. Save settings. And then from now on out, it should be right side up. I'm not going to play it. This video is getting too long. Let's see what else. Um, Vindicators. I think that was an Atari sort of like space tank kind of game. Let's see. Yeah. Looks like it's missing a file, so maybe that's why we've got those weird things there. So that one looks like it's kind of broken. Hopefully that'll get fixed. Anything else? Let's go to 1986. Arachnoid. Body Slam. Let's see what that looks like. I think that's a Sega game. Sometimes if a game doesn't come up, it's just because you've done too many cores. So it's a good idea to do a cold boot on it. Let's see if Body Slam comes up this time. This is the thing boots so fast and you can power it off. You don't have to worry about shutting it down properly or anything. Um, what was it? Body Slam? Oh, I think I was... Ah, let me go back into Organized. Collections. By year. What was it? 86? Body Slam. Let's try that and see if it works this time. We'll give it a few seconds here. Maybe this one's got temporary breakage. It is a beta core for the Sega 16 variant. Okay, let's try Fantasy Zone. That's also a um, Sega core. That one works. That's a cute em up. Let's see what else we've got. Legendary Wings. I believe that one. Yeah, you've got winged flying people and it's basically a shooter. some really elaborate backgrounds and you can fire in front of you and also bomb things on the ground let's see what else we got here. rampage they may even made a movie from this believe it or not the monsters knocking down buildings game sidearms that's actually a pretty nice um, flying shooter I think you're like a jetpack kind of guy and it can be two-player It might be like a mech warrior. Actually. There you go. One of the original. Let's see anything else of note? Wonder Boy. It's a Sega game. It's a platformer. You didn't see a whole lot of platformers in the arcade, but this was like a platformer game from Sega. All right, let's go. 1987. You got a, a lot of the airplane shooters from Capcom. Ooh, Alien Syndrome is a really nice top-down, kind of like. Um, gauntlet but not quite with a space theme I think I might have yeah there we go I've got the buttons already defined so I don't have to go through that round one the time bomb is set so you've got a time limit you're supposed to save your people you can get a map um, but you, you're trying to kill the kill the enemies, avoid getting killed, and get all the people and save them. And once you've picked up all the people, then the exit will open. Again, kind of like, no, no, not really. And there's those things that give you my enhanced firepower. Oh. See, so buying a commando, another Capcom game. That I think you had a robot arm that could stretch out, kind of like Mr. Fantastic. I could be wrong. Uh, I don't think I've defined the buttons on this. Right, left, down, up. Shoot, hook. Start, coin, pause. Okay, so let's get out of the pause. And let's give it a coin. Oops. And hit start. Platformer Contra. 
I believe that's a vertical running gun. Or it might be a horizontal running gun. Looks like vertical. War themed. Probably World War II from Konami, 1987. And that's been ported to a ton of console games where you get the idea on that. Gemini Wings, that's a good one. Street Fighter, that's the original, not Street Fighter 2. Um, Bullet, kind of an interesting game. I guess that's about it for this year. Let's move on. I've got the credits showing. Ooh, this is a good game. This is Jap Japan. Let's see what we got here. I think, th ah, this is uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, I think, with the Japanese name. Fantasy Zone 2, Forgotten Worlds. That's sort of a jetpack shooter. Ghouls and Ghost is the sequel to Ghosts and whatever it was. <laughs> Let's see, anything else? Tetris, the original um, Atari Tetris. I think it has a two-player mode, too. Let's see if I can define the keys. Right, left, down, up. Ooh, rotate. That would be that key. Player 1 start, player 2 start. Coin, pause, and save the settings. Exit. Give it a coin. Start the game. Let's try that. Ah, it can be two players. Okay, so then you just hit down to make it place. You can rotate it. There we go. Well, that's the original Tetris. Uh, let's see. I think that's a Sega game, a volleyball game. Let's see. No Tetris Japan. a Sega game and it's a cute em up with a witch on a broom story to it before you can skip it. Yeah, cue them up. Pretty colorful. It's got some power-ups. Um, I think there's, yeah, you can bomb stuff, so you've got two levels to it. To shoot ahead and, stuff. and I get confused when I gotta do more than one thing. At time. Street Fighter 2. This must be the very first Street Fighter 2 that started the pattern of all the Street Fighter 2 games that we have. Came out in 91. I think this was on the Capcom CPS 1. Right, left, down, up. Button 0, button 1, button 2, button 3, button 4, button 5. Start. Coin. Oops, I can coin. Pause. Okay. Save settings. Exit. Get out of the credits. Which, where's my credits button? There we go. So let's give it a coin. Which one did I hit? Okay, coin. Start. Playing the US. I gotta fight Ken. I'm not gonna do this because I'm not very good at it. But this is the Street Fighter game that started it all. I don't know all the different moves and I don't know what buttons do what. I'm basically a button masher here, but this is one of the games that started it. 
And if we go to later years, those are really good games. Three Wonders, actually three different games, if I remember correctly. He's got a platformer um, that's kind of um, kind of cutesy kids. And I don't remember what the other two games were. So there's all the games you can pick from. Three Wonders. Okay, it wasn't Sega, it was Capcom. Okay, let's go 92. Street Fighter 2, the next Street Fighter. That's a really good, Barth is a really good um, airplane horizontal shooter. Warriors of Fate, I don't remember. That's a Capcom game as well. A lot of Capcom games in here. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, that's a classic. That's a beat em up. Looks like you can have up to three players in this game. If you got three controllers hooked up. Side-scrolling fighter. Maybe it's got some horizontal shooting. I don't know what you're supposed to do with that shell. Maybe I. Well, I think that anyway. Ooh, this is a um, wrestling game, if I remember correctly, from Capcom. I think this is a Capcom CPS2 game. Slam Masters '93. Yep, definitely. So it's like Street Fighter, but two dimensions and with tag team. <laughs> Some more Street Fighter games, and we've got the Punisher, which is the Marvel licensed game, one of the first Marvel licensed games that were out there. Came out in 93, it says. I've got, I've got the buttons um, defined. I don't really like the way they're defined, so I'm going to do them again. Right, left, down, up, attack, jump, start, coin, pause. So now I can give it a coin and start the game. And I want to be the Punisher guy instead of Nick Fury. Again, it's, you know, a side scrolling beat em up. Seen enough of those. Alien vs. Predator. Again, another Capcom game. Another beat em up, very similar, except you've got rifles and different weapons to fight the aliens. And I think Predator's in there too. It's got the Q, uh, Q sound that Capcom was very proud of. Attack, jump, start, coin, core credits, done. Save settings. Give it a, give it a coin. Start the game. some power-ups or energy if I could figure out how to pick it up there we go you can fight the aliens if you don't want to shoot them anyway classic game dark stalkers that's like street fighters but a vampire type characters I'm not gonna play that but I'll let it bring up the a track screen so you can see what it looks like came out in 94 again Capcom lots of Capcom games here the entire catalog of Capcom 1, 1.5, and 2. It's like 
legendary characters. Yeah, it's a fighting game. You've seen that a zillion times. Another wrestling game. Another, I think that's Super Muscle Bomber. I think that's, let's see what that is. I think that's a wrestling game as well. Now, the Mister can do Neo Geo arcade games, but they're not included in the arcade section. They're in the console section, so I've got a separate video that shows all of the Neo Geo games. And I think the quality of those outdoes most of um, the arcades that we have. But yeah, that's a, that's a street, another Street Fighter. X-Men Children of Adam. This would be the second Marvel licensed game that I'm aware of, with Punisher being before that. I guess Cadillacs and Dinosaurs came from a comic, but I don't know who it was that published that. And this is a fighting game, just like Street Fighter, just with X-Men characters, so I'm not going to get into it. I'm just going to let it start up its little attract screen. This made a lot of money in the arcades. So let's go to the next year, 95. That's a robot fighting game. Marvel superheroes, just like X-Men, but with more superheroes to pick from. That's another um, sequel to that vampire monster fighter I showed before. Pang is it's kind of an interesting game. You shoot up a little um, arrow and split little balls. Um, Street Fighter, more Street Fighter games. And that's another sequel to Dark Stalker, which is, again, monsters fighting each other. Um, that's the last, pretty much, in the series of um, airplane shooters. I think it's got some more modern airplanes in it. Dungeons and Dragons will beat em up. Mega Man 2 is a fighting game. Street Fighter, Super Puzzle Fighter. I believe that's where you've got uh, sort of a tetris -y gems kind of game and some uh, little cutesy fighting characters as well. And then you've got X-Men vs. Street Fighter. That's got some interesting attract mode stuff, so I'll let it start that. I think I won't play any more games in future years and just kind of look through them and see if there's anything of interest. There are some um, cave shooters that are pretty nice looking and are very fast and bullet hells. The Wildest Crossover. Combine your powers. Marvel and Capcom. And even Marvel super villains. And there's many, several different crossovers. Like if we keep going, Sports Club, Marvel superheroes versus Street Fighter. So that's not just X Men. Super Gem Fighter, Vampire Hunter 2, that's a, yet another Doc Starkers sequel. Ah, Tengon Fevron, this is a cave shooter, I believe. I think it's sort of still in, not considered 100% stable or complete, but um, it's very close to being complete, so it's a lot of fun. And it can take it a minute to come up here. I might have to restart the whole machine. Because I know some of these that have use a lot of memory can be a little fussy sometimes. Okay, this came out in 98. They would like us to use it in Japan only. Okay, so let me get into the controls. Right, left, down, up. Button 1, button 2, button 3. Start. Coin. Pause. Service. Save settings. Give it a coin. I'm in the pause. There we go. I think this one you actually um, people fall at you and you pick them up. They're sort of the power-ups. I remember right. Yeah, those are people. <laughs> they're kind of really small, but they're ooh. It's got some pretty cool play mechanics and some power-ups. 
boy, there's so many power-ups, it's hard to collect them all. Where do you get the idea? Oh, I think I died. Anyway, you get the idea. Marvel, Marvel versus Capcom. Street Fighter Alpha 3. Let's check out the um, introduction to that. I think they're getting a little more elaborate in their track modes at this time. is deep into the lifespan of Street Fighter. Lots more characters, more special moves, probably more interactivity with the backgrounds. So show me an example of the gameplay. Yeah, you can see much more 3D-ish looking background. A bit of scaling going on. Anyway, it's Street Fighter. Giga Wing. I'm not sure what that game is. Let's see what the heck it is. I think it's um, a cave shooter, but I'm not positive. Oh, it's like a CPS game. Yep. What is it? A shooter? Or a fighter? Or a running gun? Or a beat em up? It's in Japanese, whatever it is. I don't know what that is. Open menu. We'll try that. Start. Coin. Core credits. Done. Save settings. Looks like it might be an RPG. Sword fighter of some sort. Or is this a tile game? I don't even, I have no idea what's going on. I don't read Japan, Japanese. Ooh, is this a game of risk? Or is this a battle game? Ah, it's a tile game. Okay. 2000. 1944. Let's check that one out because that would be. I thought 9, 19XX was the last in the series. It looks like this is probably the last in the series. And I believe this has more futuristic um, machines in it rather than just prop World War II aircraft. I think Cave might have had some input on this. Let's define our buttons. Right, left, down, up. Shot, bomb, start. Coin, core credits, done. Save settings, exit, give it a coin, hit start. I think it starts off with, you know, a World War II fighter, but eventually, um, as levels progress, I think they give you additional points that work good. And of course, I can't jump right to those to show you, but and I think there's a bomb as well. Ooh, wow, that's sort of like. Imagine you only get one of those per level. Otherwise, it'd be too easy to clear the game. Ooh. Come here. Look, the shadow's throwing me off. And then you've got power ups you can collect. Ah, oh, get out of my way! My machine, my, my airplane's ate up. It's about ready to crash. Is there any power ups? Ooh, I got a bomb man. I hope I did a good job. Let's do that. Is that some uh, power? Is that some health? Come here. Nope, I'm dead. <laughs> cool, I parachuted and now I can, you know, keep going. Damahu, that is a really good shooter game.
different characters and shit to pick from. Okay. Got a rapid fire button, so. Ooh, those are like little fairies that help you. Not sure what you can do with those people on the ground. I imagine you can do something with them, but I just don't know. You have to read the history on this game how you play it. Anyway, you get the idea. It's a nice game. That's another shooter, pretty good. There's another pain game where you shoot the arrows up and punch the little balls. Pro Gear, very popular shooter game. Um, kind of prop airplane, but like rescue landing on the water kind of thing. Hyper Street Fighter. Let's see what the startup to this looks like. This would maybe be one of the last in the series, except when they started coming out with the anniversary ones that combined a lot of them together. Came out 2004. Very, very late in the Street Fighter franchise lifespan. I think this is kind of like a combination anniversary edition. There's lots of different versions of the game that you can pick from. But I'm not positive. Probably a large number of characters to pick from. Anniversary edition. Okay, what else we got? 1990, the 70s, the 80s, yeah, okay. And if you wanted to go by particular platforms, if you didn't know, if you were like a big Sega fan, you could go by manufacturer and then go down to Sega and see all the Sega arcade games. If you wanted Capcom, all the Capcoms in one place. If you wanted all the uh, cave games, Data East games, what else? Oh, Williams, let's go to Williams. There's all the Williams games and a nice selectable thing. So it's nice organization on the arcade course. Anything else I want to mention? Um, there, are all, all, there are alternatives that have fixes and additional features added. Um, you'd have to really read the documentation on those to find out what they are. Have I done a show altered beast? I don't remember. Let's try that. Don't even know if it'll work, but we'll give it a try. And this will be the last game I show. Hopefully you can see there's a large variety of arcade games. Turn off the... Um... All right. There we go. Thanks for watching the arcades. Let's just reset the mister. Thanks for watching.